So we are learning more about the two people killed in a mass shooting in Central Texas at a Juneteenth celebration over the weekend. 14 others were wounded and are expected to survive. Round Rock police just outside Austin say gunfire erupted after a fight between two groups. They are still looking for the shooter and announced a $5,000 reward. Fox's Carissa Lemko talked with relatives of one of the women who was killed. It was supposed to be a celebration of Juneteenth and Father's Day. Pandemonium just, just, just struck and just frustration and just, you know, I guess a dream. Like I'm, I'm actually looking at a dream. I'm like this, this is not happening. This, this, this is truly not happening for me to be seeing my wife in this condition. Era Duke was one of two people killed during a shooting at Round Rock's Juneteenth celebration, loved by daughter Alina, husband Christopher, and by students and staff at Idea Public Schools Runberg campus. She just loves checking in on her people and her friends and stuff, make sure they're doing okay. And she's a very smart woman, educationally, socially, emotionally. And she taught me a lot of things, and I wish she could still teach me more. Police say ahead of Saturday night's shooting, a fight broke out. 16 total were shot. 14 of them are expected to be okay. Police say those that were shot were innocent bystanders. I'm still processing. I'm still processing how to, how to move forward and um, get through this here and, and, and move on for her, you know, because... That's all I have. That's all I have. Carissa Lemkel, Fox 4 News. Again, police still don't know the identity of the suspect they're looking for and have only released a vague description. They haven't released a possible motive for the fight between the two groups that led to the shooting. The other woman killed has been identified as 33-year-old Lindsay Vicknair from Manor, just outside of Austin. She's an attorney at an Austin law firm and a mother of three young children.